Members of the Eastern Diocese Armenian Church Youth Organization of America gathered at the IBM Dolce Palisade Center in Palisades, New York, to take part in the organization's 64th Annual General Assembly and Sports Weekend from May 21st to the 25th. As part of this year's diocesan theme of vocations, the call to serve, young people learned about steps they can take to help strengthen the ranks of the priesthood in the Armenian Church. The ACYWA General Assembly was extremely successful this year. We actually had um, one of the largest turnouts that we've had in recent history of the General Assembly. We had over 75 participants from over 25 different parishes. And one of the most encouraging things is the increasing number of members of the clergy that are coming to offer their support and have a voice in the General Assembly and really support the youth and show them how to be leaders in the Armenian Church. Archbishop Khajak Barsamian, primate of the Eastern Diocese, shared with delegates his personal story of entering the seminary and encouraged young people to think about ways they can serve their church and people. You are the ones who will move the Armenian church forward tomorrow and after tomorrow. Also addressing the assembly was the Reverend Father Hovna Demerjian, pastor of St. Hagop Armenian Church in St. Petersburg, Florida. Father Demerjian spoke about the importance of remaining open to God's call and working with others to respond to it. I think a good way to talk about calling for every single person sitting here is that calling is a bit like falling in love. To fall in love with God. Not just a person, but the God which made you, which made your soul, truly your soul mate in the sense of the word. The Reverend Father Stepanos Dudukjan, Director of Vocations at St. Nersas Armenian Seminary, introduced a group exercise in which delegates discussed how they might encourage their friends, relatives, and each other to find their vocation, and what steps can be taken to encourage potential seminarians. I think of one of the value of that exercise, and probably the most value of that exercise, is that it gets them thinking. Uh, these are kids that are really, really young people that are really, really uh, serious in their walk in life, but especially in their walk with Christ through the Armenian Church. We are the, the people who plant the seeds, and the real recruiter is not us, it's God, it's the Holy Spirit. And He will touch them as long as we continue uh, doing these things. During the remainder of the meeting, members of the ACYOA Central Council delivered an organization-wide report highlighting the success of activities such as the Armenian Service Program, the Summer Pilgrimage to the Holy Land, participation in the International ACYO Meeting at the Mother Sea of Holy Etchmiadin, and the Pan-North American Retreat held in the fall with the Western and Canadian Dioceses. In the past year, the ACYOA saw the addition of six new chapters, bringing the diocesan-wide total to 23 chapters. Delegates at the Assembly also held elections for Central Council members, as well as members of other ACYOA committees. Delegates thank the Primate and the ACYOA Executive Secretary, Nancy Basmajan, for their support of the organization's initiatives. These events are wonderful. It gives kids a good foundation that we need good leaders, and why not them? During the traditional Primate's luncheon on Friday, May 22nd, Archbishop Barsamian presented all delegates with a personalized copy of the diocese's newly published Armenian Canon Bible, and Central Council members announced the recipients of five service awards. This year's General Assembly was actually a great success. It's inspiring to see the, the youth that are this dedicated, that they are willing to take time out of their personal schedule and take, take time away from school and work to come and uh, help run the organization that is so important to all of us. The ACYOA Sports Weekend kicked off on the evening of Friday, May 22nd, as more than 250 participants arrived at the IBM Palisade Center for athletic competitions, as well as a series of spiritual and cultural activities. Sporting events were held at the St. Lawrence Community Center and at the newly built Education and Recreation Center at St. Leon Armenian Church in Fairlawn, New Jersey. These are um, much more than just sports games to me. To me, it's finding my culture, my heritage with my fellow Armenians. You know, at school, you don't get to spend time with many Armenians, but here, it's four days of 
Armenians, people just like you. This year's program also featured a film festival, guest speakers, dance workshops conducted by the Antranik Dance Ensemble, and a virtual athletics tournament using the Wii video game technology. I come as a delegate, and I also come as a sports member, and I come to serve my church in the General Assembly. Every year when I come to Sports Weekend, I make new friends, and I reunite with my old friends. Eric Kachikian spoke to participants about his documentary, Voyage to Amasya. Also speaking at Sports Weekend was Linda Yapoyan, Executive Director of Birthright Armenia, who encouraged young people to volunteer in Armenia and described the opportunities available throughout the country. The ACYOA group, the seniors, is an, is an excellent, it's like a gem of a crowd. Um, they're already engaged in many things Armenian. I think what the icing on the cake is, is the experience in Armenia, as far as strengthening their Armenian identity. On Saturday evening, ACYOA members traveled to Manhattan to enjoy the music of Robert Chimangirian at the Hudson Terrace. See, the dances were amazing. Uh, yesterday in New York City, that was really nice, and everyone seemed to have a really good time. On Sunday, May 24th, the Reverend Father Stepanos Dudukjan celebrated the Divine Liturgy with Archbishop Khajak Barsamian presiding. The very Reverend Father Daniel Findikian delivered the day's sermon, reminding participants of Christ's love and forgiveness and asking them to help share the good news with other Armenians. God calls all of us, men and women, to be able to open themselves up and be ministers and servants and sharers of that good news. Because the good news is great. And the bad news doesn't exist. The new Central Council was installed and blessed by the Primi after Sunday's Divine Liturgy. As sports competitions drew to a close on Sunday, ACYOA members gathered for a banquet to honor the weekend's champions and to applaud the many people who worked hard to organize this year's events. The weekend was organized by a regional committee, co-chaired by Alex Derderian and Lydia Kirkjian. The biggest reward for our committee was seeing how much fun um, everyone had, how dedicated they were to the success of the ECYOA, and really the enthusiasm that the young people have in our church. Following a farewell brunch on Monday, May 25th, ACYOA members departed for their home parishes. And the ACYOA is really great because it brings all your Armenian friends closer together and then you get to see them and then see how they're working with their chapters and probably apply what they're doing and back to your home parish.